Good morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Tuesday, Happy everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. Welcome. Happy yeah. August again. My yeah, gosh, we're already we're already in the second oh, week of August. Can you believe that? It's hard to. Be, but welcome to a visit with Santa and Mrs. Claus. We're so glad you could join us, and. I'll tell you what, we got another hey, special show we today. Do, and we do. A little, little different, I little think, for unusual Santa. unusual for well, Santa and Mrs. Claus. Probably well, more Mrs. Claus, a little different. Yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, Santa Mrs. Santa loves loves this part a he little does. bit more. Than he does. <laughs> and, and, uh, and there's a lot of elves at the North Pole that uh, love sports. So Yes, we all yeah. gather around together and watch, watch football. <laughs> and, you know, I'll tell you what. I know with COVID-19, everything is is confusion. I mean, I know Rich Haley just posted yeah, yesterday that yeah. the Pac-10 of and the Big Ten football leagues are going to make an announcement, and we don't think it's going to be a good one. We no, think they're going no, to no. postpone the season, mm -hmm. So, which means that a lot of others are going to follow suit. But have heart. <laughs> I'm bringing you football anyway. In fact, I'm bringing you a whole league. So <laughs> <laughs> now, just before we start, remember that we're live, and we'd love to have you uh, share because uh, we're on Facebook and YouTube and Roku. Yes. And you know, comment. We have. Uh, I'm sure you're going to have some some questions. Well, I uh, hope you have some this. questions. So, yeah. We're yeah. going to find out a lot of interesting <laughs> things. But if you would, please. Welcome our very, very special guest. I'd like to introduce Elsie Hollingsworth, who is the owner of the Smoky Mountain Ravens and his defensive line coach, David Sleet. Welcome, guys. Oh, boy, they even do that in tandem. I don't think they do that when they talk to the team. No. no. <laughs> Sometimes, maybe. Anyway, they are actually in what is called the Independent American Football League, or IAFL. And this is something I'm just learning about. Yeah, and if yeah. you don't know about it, well, then here's your chance to learn about it. But these guys are actually uh, operating right out of East Tennessee here. In fact, uh, they're based out of Newport, and they play in Dandridge. So if you're familiar with this area, um, they they are right here so guys welcome tell us about the ravens oh my god you guys are division champions congratulations <laughs> yes sir thank you first year team and the first time for a first year team to ever come in and win the division championship like wow that in Tennessee nice region. job nice job. appreciate it so oh, yeah. tell us how how did this come about Elsie you're you're the co-owner yes, along sir. with um um Lee Morgan Yes, sir. So, Unfortunately, Lee couldn't be with us today. But um, We won't mention where Lee is, but <laughs> it does have something to do with what we're talking about today. Right. But anyway. Uh, so basically, uh, I started this team the beginning of last year. I got a little bit ahead of everybody else in the league. It was still season when I started this team. Uh, I was a player originally. Three years ago, I started out with the East Tennessee Bombers, played up under this man right here. He was one of my defensive coaches. He, he gave me a, a push to get where I was. But uh, started it out a couple years after I played. I got hurt really bad, so I don't play no more. I went into coaching, shared my knowledge, shared the love of the game, and then went from coaching to owning this year and have had a great, I mean, great set of guys come in this year and just to come together and make the team worthwhile. Now, how'd you get David to join you? Or uh, Their team, they, they had actually, they had some uh, issues with it and everything and with the league, so they had to step out of the league, and then we decided to join forces and made an even better team. Made a little bit more of an unstoppable, almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Eh? I mean, there's always that little yeah, extra you got to. That's, that's all right. That's why you always plan and rebuild for bigger and better things. Uh huh. Now you just kind of basically finished your your season. Yes, sir. So we just finished our season. We were put out of our second or third round. No, second, second round of the playoffs. So our season's over with, and now we're rebuilding, getting ready for the next season, and coming on strong and the championships are still going on until uh august mid-august mid-august so well we're just Saturday, about there 
I think it's this Saturday they're going to be playing the last round of the playoffs. Okay. Which will be the Georgia versus the um, – I think it's Georgia versus the Mountain region, which is the Alabama, King – or Alabama, Tennessee combined region. And then North Carolina versus South Carolina to find out who the two finals are for the main championship. Okay. Can you, you – you mentioned the regions. Can you kind of break that down a little bit for us? Now, which one is the Ravens in? Uh, so we're in the Mountain region. Yes. And that's got multiple Makes div- sense. Right. So <laughs> we have multiple divisions inside of that. We're part of the King Division. Okay. Uh, then they have a couple of other different divisions, like the Yellowhammer Division, I believe, is also in the Mountain Region. It's part of, like, the Alabama, lower, uh, probably mid to upper Alabama to lower Tennessee region. Okay. So we have different divisions inside of that. This year was the first year we won any team out of east tennessee's actually won first year round wow the king division championship uh usually past few years it's not been our division that's won anything <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's 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 definitely something that we're proud of oh, a lot of these guys be. have never played in this league before we have very few handful to have but a lot of these guys just coming out of high school and all that so they're like static and beside themselves they're they're loving it yeah, let's talk about that. Um, you're pulling mostly uh, recruits from, like, high school, college, like community college or that kind of thing. Yes, tell, us, tell us what you look for or what, what kind of personnel you're looking for. Uh, look for guys that stood out in high school. We look for guys, you know, that, that, that really want to play the game. And we look for guys that 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 really want to to that have ambition to move up to the next level, to play like arena, uh, go in the UF, uh, the European League or the Canadian League to take and play football. Yeah, I'm amazed how many leagues, you, we were talking about this before the show, and I mean, there's all kinds of football leagues. Yeah. I, mean, I did not it's, it's, know. It's I good. had no idea. I mean, and, and uh, boy, there's a whole life uh, beyond um, pro the NFL. football, yeah, yeah, that I think that a lot of people really don't know anything about. I mean, I didn't, but I, it it is amazing to me to listen to you and to see that there's so many opportunities right. that exist. You know, I I know myself. I always kind of thought of well, college, mm-hmm. and then pro. Right. And that's kind of the two fields, if you will, yes. that I thought that players could get to. But now there's so much more. <laughs> yes. it's, so so it's many wonderful. different leagues and yes, so sir. many different um, yeah. places where these, especially kids that may not have the grades to get into, you know, a, a college scholarship mm-hmm. program or, you know, just never went to college. Yeah, so true. they don't think they can get into the pro leagues or that type of well, there's yeah. a whole new opportunity here there is. That, that, that wasn't there a few years ago, mm-hmm. which I just think is, is marvelous. I mean, yes. Yes. You um, know, now, do you do scouting yourself? Or? Yes, we do. Yes, sir. We, 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 <laughs> me and Sleet here and Lee also and our, uh, our defensive coordinator, Cameron Terry, couldn't be with us either. We all like take trips over to high schools or, you know, just word of mouth about out in the community. We find players all the time that write us or come up to us and say, hey guys, I seen one of y'all's games last year. You know, it's really great. I want to try and come out and be a part of us. Our guys take and see us with the shirts on and yeah. just say, hey, what is that about? What, what is this? Hey, I didn't, I didn't right? know that team yeah. existed. Yeah, well, and, then, and obviously until you and I met, Yes, I sir. didn't either, you know, and and then it's like I couldn't get enough. I was on no. the internet all over the place, going, you know, <laughs> wow, it's a whole league. How many teams did you say are in the league now? Uh, I think, I think we ended this. We started this year with I think right around forty three to forty six, uh, and then COVID hit us hard this year, so we were shut down for a good while. And then I think by the time we ended, it's probably around 30, 30, yeah. 30 36 teams left. But still, 36 teams. Oh, yeah. And we're anywhere from Florida, South Carolina, <laughs> North Carolina, uh, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia. 
So we're, we're spread out pretty far away. So the southeast. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Kind of like the southeast conference kind of thing. You cover yeah. that whole right. And same uh, area. I think the league commissioner Tracy is actually extending it this coming season to even over into Biloxi, Mississippi. Wow. Cool. So I mean, oh this, this league's wow. growing and growing exponentially, and uh, you know Tracy's a really good guy, and he's done a lot with this league. And you said Tracy actually started doing this as a player himself, or uh, I believe he started out as a player himself, and then he moved into ownership of a team also called the Tennessee Crush, and then eventually he came into all, starting his own league. He's had this league now for going on four years. Wow! And every year that we've been in it, it has grown exponentially every year. I mean, there's a lot more stuff he's adding every year for players to to help players and promote them a lot more. Well, and especially for this area, you've got to believe, I mean, football is such a mainstay for all of us. It and is, now, yeah. as, and for this year with the COVID-19 yeah. problems, yeah. you know, you're going, we may not have the high school games that we planned on. We may not have the college games we planned on. And the NFL is having some problems, aren't they? Yes, sir. <laughs> Just they are, a few. They are, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's a bad time for everybody right now with what's going on. But luckily, with the one thing that we can not agree on and we can still sit there and show that we can get along and have fun together with and be a family, it's football. So yes. it's great to be able to be out there and get together and do this. So you're, you're, um, this is set up a, a similar... Um, like pro football so you have a commissioner and right. so it's it's the structure is somewhat the same as is uh, pro football yes ma'am um, we play by NFL rules so okay. all the rules and regulations are wrote by the commissioner mr. Tracy so like we have referees they have to be knowledgeable of any NFL rules regulations anything like that for all the teams our structure is the same you know he's the commissioner uh, we do everything pretty much like the pros. We're just not endorsed and stuff like that, and not a paid league. Okay, okay, but then, but that then you know gives the base for the players. Is if you know again, and we'll talk about this a, a, a little later. Um, but there's opportunities that exist, and we touch base a little bit on that. But beyond um, just the. Uh, 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 you know this football team there's other opportunities so playing with a NFL uh, you know rules and regulations help you go forward so there's no differences there and absolutely and it's going to give you opportunities to play football and to better your mm -hmm. skills and and possibly you know as you guys were talking about there's all kinds of leagues that you can wind up playing in yes sir. starting with this one and yeah. then just developing your talents just as you would in college, yes. right. just yeah. as, as you would in any other uh, sport, you know, yes. to go through like the, the semi-pros and into the pros, gives you an opportunity that if you have a dream, exactly, you can, you can make that dream happen. Right. And you can make it happen through the Smoky Mountain Ravens. Yes, sir. Yeah. Still yeah. chase that dream. Don't ever give up. Extremely exciting. That it, is it, just it is. absolutely it is. marvelous. It's, it's not to lose your Now, dream. they do have a website, and you, you can get all kinds of information on the website, and there it is right there. Uh, and this is the... Well, uh, this is the actual, the uh, IAFL uh, website. website. Yeah. Uh, which um, showcases all the different uh, uh, teams, uh, some of their emblems up here. And uh, that's uh, that one. Uh, and then we also have the, the um, Facebook. Uh, okay. Whoops. And that's, that's the Ravens. I now, this is the Ravens site that you're going to see here. Yeah. Okay. And this is um, to get to that's the Smoky Mountain Ravens. And Smoky Mountain M T N. Not you don't have to spell out oh, mountain. Yes, correct. It's it's S M O K Y M T N N Ravens R A V E N S. And then that's on the Facebook. So if you look that up, you can get to their web page and, and lots of information. We're going to talk more after the break about how to get involved with yes. the team and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we want we want you guys to get excited about this because I'll tell you what I think our 
choices are going to narrow significantly this year as far as being able to watch different sports. So yeah. this this is just an absolute bless. I, I can't know. thank you guys enough I for know. bringing this to our attention. <laughs> I know. And, yeah, and, and you brought some merchandise with you. Right. Go ahead. If you can, show them a couple of things, David. If, if, you know, you got, you got to see the, ah, oh, they got, oh, they, now is that your official jersey? Uh, so this was our jerseys for this past season. We're going to be uh, getting some different looks this year. Uh, we're just going to go a little bit lighter with the colors this year, so that way it's not so dark at night. But the new look that we're going to be bringing out this year is definitely going to make sure you remember his look. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. And then it looks like you got, what, a training shirt there? Or? Uh, so this is one of our dry fit shirts. Um, this was our shirt that we had made uh, after we oh, won the division after championship. After they won yeah. the King Division. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Got that on the back and then on the front. Oh, very Smoky Mountain cool. Mountain Ravens 2020. Oh, I trying like to stop that. Us. Try and <laughs> yeah. stop us 2020. That's, that, that's kind of your motto, <laughs> isn't it? it? Is. You, uh, you guys have really jumped on that. Try and stop <laughs> us. I, yes, yeah, sir. That and uh, near pretty much anything we have, it's kind of like a hashtag flock up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, uh, then my wife makes all the shirts for the team and everything and the merchandise for the fans and all and then she's also got now that we're in the pandemic that we're in and everything she does make some of the oh, face masks. masks with the oh. logo on it there you oh, go very good so she very makes good. the logo or either you get the raven face on the front of it oh <laughs> all right okay That's cool. now the helmet there it looks like you got the is it that the whole team that signed it uh yes sir so after division championship i retired this year as a player uh, okay, played one officially, last game. officially retired. And I officially now just retired an owner. this year as a player. Just an owner. Yeah, just the owner now. I'm <laughs> helping coach. Uh, I played one last game this year wearing my dad's number that he used to play in high school and Navy with. Oh, cool. So I retired one last time, and this was my helmet. And I said, after division championship, I knew we would win it. I had faith in my guys. I had everybody to sign it. The whole team signed it for me. Oh, Excellent. Cool. Oh, nice job. <laughs> Now, you mentioned there's a summer league, too, right? So, yes, sir. Uh, normally, there's a summer league for this uh, this league. Uh, Tracy does run a summer league. And usually, it's in July, August, going into the early, okay. I think, early parts of September is a championship. But because of the, the epidemic this year, it kind of shut down a lot of that. Yeah. And our spring ran into the summer league this year. Okay. okay. So... Okay. Things may change again next year. So. Yes, sir. I okay. mean, it's it's definitely in the books of about maybe changing next year. I think we're going to be starting our season a little bit later next year. Yes. I think he's got it where we're probably going to be starting in March next year for our spring season. But okay. we're still going to be running our eight-game season and then hitting the playoffs. Okay. Okay, we're going to take a quick break and do a couple of commercials. And, and please, uh, you know, go along with our sponsors here because this is why we're here but as soon as we're back we're going to talk more about how you can get involved yes. in the smoky mountain ravens so we'll be right back <laughs> parrot mountain this attraction has it all whether you're two years old or 90 years young with hundreds of beautiful tropical birds and thousands of flowers plants and trees Folks who visited our park have said, I've never seen this many birds in one place. This must be what the Garden of Eden was like. The most beautiful and peaceful place I have ever been. These gardens rival the best. The best value in the Smokies. You'll want to visit Parrot Mountain and Gardens. Call or visit us online. We'll see you there. Right the board. Hello, you may recognize us from Mountain Fun Life TV show Storytime with Santa and Mrs. Claus. And here are the stories that bring the TV show to life. This Santa's Elf series of children's books features 
wonderful rhyme and beautiful corner-to-corner -corner illustrations and include a special message from Santa at the end of each story. I wrote the books and Mrs. Claus did the artistry. Available in hard and soft covers, these books are available wherever great children's books are sold or online or at our website, thenorthpolepress.com. There are seven already published and more on the way. So pick up one or more of these books and read them to your kids today. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. See, that didn't take long. So. Well, I hope you're enjoying this as much as we are. Oh, this is it, fascinating. It just, it, well, you know what? It really is. I mean, even I find this fascinating that there's so much like we talked about be, behind just college and, and uh, pro football. And, and that's one of the things I think that we would like to address is, is the fact that um, your football league gives young men opportunities that really have not existed uh, before. And so could you just talk about some of that, how it, you know, when they come into your league that they're given some direction uh, that they didn't have? Uh, Semi-Pro has been around since the, the early 80s. And um, it really got back big here in Tennessee around 95. Uh, with the Knoxville Crusaders, the uh, Tennessee Highlanders, and the uh, Merville Invaders, the um, and the uh, Tennessee Raiders, and there was a lot of guys that 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 played uh, across seas that came from the, those leagues. Had a uh, guy that I played with, Eric Clarity, that played at Tusculum College. He played played there. Uh, Joe Cofer that uh, played at the University of Tennessee. His brother James that played at uh, Clemson. And 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 they, a lot of people had had a had um, big opportunities with this semi-pro uh, football. Um, we uh, our guys now. You know, we got a lot of guys that played with Fulton. We got guys that uh, played at Austin East. We got guys that played at West High School, and we got a couple of guys. Got a guy that played at Tusculum College that plays with us, mm -hmm. and he he's done he does pretty good. Hopefully, we we should be getting a whole lot of more guys that I'll, I'll be going myself here to Suburbia, seeing seeing some of the guys that's coming out of high school the, that don't have the opportunity to play football anymore we're going to try to give them another opportunity to get out there and, and have fun and become a part of our raven family and yeah. i think that's that's just so huge that yes. it you know it really does give a lot of of kids that really love foot love yes. the game and love yes. football yes. gives them a chance to yeah. continue playing mm -hmm. and even develop their skills further because i mean you got a full coaching staff do you not Oh yes, sir. We got uh, me, uh, me and Lee. You know, last year was the first year, so we had to take on a lot of responsibilities ourselves. Not only being just owners, but some coaching too. Mm -hmm. uh, but this year, we have a full-on coaching staff for all the way from the head coach, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, skills position coaches, special teams coaches. And I mean, it's it's growing exponentially. Like. I think mid-season last season, we were sitting there, and then half of these guys started coming out of the woodwork and just say, "Hey, man, we you know we enjoy watching you. We want to see if we can become part of the staff." And I mean, me and Lee had the same goal, and and Sleet and Cameron Terry, we all had the same goal in this: is you know, is just get these these young people out of this street lifestyle and away from the places they don't need to be at, and give them a chance to actually prove that they do have talent and they do have skills that they can move on and go somewhere with this. You know, I mean. My, I started out as a player up under this gentleman right here. I applied, signed on as a wide receiver, and he stuck me right on the defensive line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hold on, coach. I ain't but like 140 pounds here. He said, no, but you got speed, you know. Yeah, so it's, so it's, now you got him back. Now he's your defensive line right. coach. That's so. all. Uh, <laughs> now yeah. he gets to do this all the time. <laughs> the, the opportunities that just come out of this league, though, and playing in this league for these kids and, and these gentlemen, you know, our league's 18 and older. So as long as you're 18 and older, if you graduated high school, you're more than welcome to come out, 
try out, meet up with us, you know, and join the team if you want to. And it's just for the love of the game and people that want to progress and move past that has that passion for the game. Okay, so how? Yeah. How lead? It, that's a perfect lead. It. It is. Now, how did how do they do this? How do so, they? There's multiple ways that you can get a hold of us. Uh, we're always out and about in town, so if you see us with one of the Raven shirts on, you're more than welcome to come up, stop me. I don't care if I'm in the middle now, of the restaurant. Now, be careful, because when you get a lot of fans, you're going to have a lot of fans <laughs> wearing Raven shirts. You, you yeah. know, going, I want to sign up. And they're going to uh, look at them and go, why? <laughs> no, How? No, no uh, most of our staff, we have our... Our stuff on our sleeve, like mine has the owner on our sleeve. Uh, oh, a lot of oh, ours. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought that was in case you forgot. No. <laughs> uh, a lot of our, our staff has the their position on the sleeves. Okay. So if okay. you see a Raven shirt out there, says hey, it says defensive coordinator or something like that. You're more than welcome to walk up, talk with us about it, and get to know us. Uh, we can give you more information on tryouts. The Facebook page we mentioned earlier, the Smoky Mountain Ravens Facebook page, we always keep everything updated on there tryout days, times, uh, fees. We keep game information updated on there. So when we're playing our games, where at, who against, and how much it is for gate admission. Um, we will be putting here soon our fee administration for joining the team this year. Our team member fees and our tryout fees, I believe, are already up on the page for our flyer for the tryouts this year. Now the fees cover what? So. Team, the player fees, basically what it covers is it covers, this year it's going to be covering a lot more that the player gets. The, last year it just covered their main uniform and their registration. This year it's covering their registration and a lot more of the uniform that's going to be involved and a duffel bag to, put, to be able to carry everything in there won't in it. Now, do they have to come with their own equipment? Do they have to bring their own <coughs> shoulder pads, so, helmets, and so on and so forth? Or So they can if they have their own, and we will paint the helmets ourselves and decal everything to look just like this. But we do have some equipment available. We are constantly getting more and more equipment to be able to, you know, understand and help out these guys that can't afford to get equipment and stuff like that. Because, again, if you're pulling kids from the street, they may right. not you know have all the money to, to get involved in this right and a lot of times like we, I know with my job we're always hiring out there where I work at and then Lee he owns his own fencing company so he's always probably going to be looking for help and if there's somebody that you know we're getting off the street that doesn't have a job or anything like that we can always help out with trying to get you situated into a job that's marvelous you know we just rather see you be doing something more productive than being out there and then being on the news the next day and it's not it's it's just not the not world in a we're good living way. in is yeah. not Either, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This gives us opportunity for families to come back together, watch a good great sport, <coughs> support their even even if they're one of their family members as a player. Yeah, you know, it's just <coughs> we are out of Newport, but we do play out there at Dandridge Field of Dreams and I'm I'm gonna tell you right there, that place right there is just amazing. Yeah. We actually have been there a couple yes. of times. Yes, we, <coughs> it's a we done, did a show. Yeah, we've done a couple uh, of shows We did there. a show last so year, and, and so we actually so. <laughs> happened to know where you're where you're talking about, and it and it is a, it's a it's a great place. Oh, fabulous um, part. And yeah. you know, uh, one of the other things, and and of course, I uh, um, is that I'm sure that you're also looking for anybody out there that's watching that might want to sponsor. Yes, or to help so, what kind of opportunities are there for i guess the same connection they can just uh, contact you if if they want to uh, yes ma'am and uh we're going to be having like i think my phone number is up on the facebook page and we're going to be updating some more of that getting mine and lee's information up there so that way you can contact us about some sponsors uh, we have a sponsor pack that has multiple different packages it has different options in there some of them is just like a basic sponsor package. We'll put your logo at the front gate on the banner and announce mm -hmm. you during between the quarters. Uh, and it goes all the way up to as far as season passes for so many people. Uh, putting your logo on our equipment vehicle so when we travel you're always sponsored and being yeah. you know announced everywhere we go. Um, but you can contact us on that Smoky Mountain Raven page. And then we, or myself or Lee, can get in contact with you and work out the details with the sponsorships. And we're always looking for new sponsors because it helps get this equipment for these guys and get these uniforms and everything. Exactly, and it helps yeah. helps yeah. with travel a lot, and then also helps with field maintenance and referees and security because 
that becomes a big a factor. Lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, as with most things, you don't think about all the little details that get involved yeah. with, with something like putting on a, a football game. Mm -hmm. But in this particular instance, there's an awful lot. As he mentioned, transportation, and, yes. you know, yes. Yes. the yes. uniforms, the equipment, the everything that you need mm -hmm. to just to get step out on that field and yeah. pitch that yeah. pigskin from one end to another, yeah. there's a lot involved. So yeah, I bet you you've got a lot mm. of opportunities for a lot of people. Yes, sir. It's 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 pretty much we go to work all day long, come <laughs> home and we're answering <laughs> phone calls or Facebook messages all night long with either talking to try and get sponsors in or people wanting to come in and try and try out and play with the team. Now, are you looking for any particular positions right now? No, I'm not applying uh, yet. But, you know, <laughs> I don't know if the bearded fit <coughs> the helmet, <coughs> but, you know. <coughs> yeah, we always got to have Santa Claus out there. the elves might, yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you take short players? Hey, there's nothing wrong with it as long as you're 18 or older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, what are you looking for right uh, now? Right now, we're trying to build our line up a little bit harder. One thing in semi-pro or in any football league right now, the hardest people to find is linemen for playing. And we're definitely looking for offensive linemen and defensive linemen right now. I mean, that, like I said, they're, they're very scarce to come by. You can go find a quarterback, running back, wide receiver, safety, or anything like that, a dime a dozen right now. But linemen is the hardest position to find for. And we're definitely going to start looking now Yes. into getting some more linemen to join the club. And if you're a lineman, we're looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I mean, I've had a couple of guys contact me about line, um, but definitely linemen, if you think you have what it takes, come on out. We can use you. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So now let's talk a little bit about some of the other two. I mean, you mentioned the league is growing exponentially. Yes. Yes. So, and you even mentioned, you know, Biloxi, Mississippi might be a, a possibility down the road. Um, yes, sir. Is there other places Tracy's looking at, at developing, or is, <coughs> is this just going to be one of those things that's going to just keep kind of spreading out farther and farther? Well, I think, you know, I think it's just going to be one of those things that keeps spreading out further and further if he does develop uh, anywhere else. You know, I mean, he's all the time, like he says himself, you know, we, we got to be, he's got to be mindful of what teams he lets in here. You know, you got to be professional and you got to be wanting and willing to be able to come in here and actually mm -hmm. play the game and play in the, the, the schedule. And I think that's one thing he takes into heart and, you know, dedicated to finding is these teams that are, are dedicated. They're motivated to come in here and they're not going to back down or back out at the last second. And he's all the time, you know, screening what teams are wanting to come in here. And I think with him bringing in Biloxi next year and, you know, some more people from South Carolina, it gives us a better – variety of challenge mm -hmm. to try mm -hmm. and overcome and to challenge ourselves with to make sure that we're getting better and it gives us a bigger opportunity to you know spread our word out even further to mm -hmm. people everywhere and we had talked a little bit before the show that <clears throat> excuse me there's other leagues out there as well as the IAFL but what What's kind of the difference between them in a nutshell? Is, is it just different geographic locations or do they play at different levels or? Well, I mean, both of those play into a factor, I believe. Some of them are geographical, you know, like yeah. a, I think AFL is more of the coastal, like coastal Which coast? teams. The Eastern Coast. Eastern Coast. Right. Okay. And then like the GDFL, it's what they call the gridiron football league and I mean that's more the backyard yes. knock them down drag them out football <laughs> games right there one I mean, step above flag huh? right right I mean yeah. don't get me wrong GDFL NDFL they all produce really great teams uh NDFL is going to be more of your nationwide so they play not just in the geographical area locally but they also play nationally wide like uh, I think Dalton Danger was undefeated this past year in the NDFL and they were traveling all the way, I believe, to Texas, Texas yeah. playing now, people out yes. there. The Dalton Danger is in the IAFL. Yes, sir. So they just came back after uh, undefeated championship season from NDFL last year. Oh, so they're in both. 
and came into this league this oh, year. Oh, they were turned okay. back into this league. Okay. They were gone for a good year or two. So they came back to the league this year, and they're out of Dalton, Georgia. And they're a really great team. Like I said, they're, they've been together for five years or, or more. They're very organized. They're a very good family-oriented. You know, they stick together like glue. They don't stop. Now, they besides the Ravens, which we know are division champs, yeah. you know, I mean, we already know who the, who the kings of the king division are. But what are some of the other good teams that you've really played? This You mentioned Dalton earlier in the show. But um, Tennessee Tribe. Tennessee Tribe was a team that was here this year. The, they kind of opted out after the coronavirus hit, and they're in the AFL now, the yes. uh, Alliance Football League. So they're going to okay. be over there. Uh, they're a really great team, you know. I've never seen anybody bring so much intensity and talent together like he did within a year. And, you know, we really played against them. It was it was really the biggest rivalry game we had over here in East Tennessee. Really? Yeah. Um, another good teams that we have out there, though, is they're Alcoa. from Alcoa Alloys. That, you know, they were here two years ago. Really great, strong team. Gave us a run for our money with the Knights. Yes. They were a really good team. Uh Last this past year, though, they had a little bit of trouble and a little struggle, but I believe they are rebranding and coming back and a really great team next yeah. year. So, well, yeah. and that's that's just the way of the the game anyway. You're always going to have teams that are strong one year, True. and, and then have, semi, to, have yeah, to rebuild. Pro and basic, semi, yeah. you know, and, and <laughs> certainly yes, we see that <laughs> every all, all the pro things. teams go through that um, every year. One of the things that we uh, talked about or touched on briefly um, earlier. Uh, was some of the opportunities that these young men may have uh, when they're playing with, with in your football uh, league that just, a, again, a little bit of some of the other opportunities that they might have. You talked about Canadian. Yes. and yeah, so, so there's, you know, there's so European. much for young people that if you sh prove yourself in this, this um month. team you have other opportunities so you have the canadian uh, yes we have the canadian football league that, that takes guys up the arena football leagues uh, a lot of paid leagues out there you know that which would, we just had three of our guys this year signed to the carolina cowboys yes. over in south carolina they're a really good arena team so we're proud of our guys. They, they're still playing with us next spring, but they're also, you know, they're signed on with the the Carolina, Carolina Cowboys. Yes, they are. And, and and I guess they can even get, you know, possible college scholarships or uh, yeah, yeah. So like usually the next step out of arena is either you can go to college or NFL. Really, a lot of guys are getting recruited out of arena straight to the NFL. Yeah, I've I have seen that. Yeah. So, wow. I mean, there's there's great opportunity for all of them. I mean, I think we have a scout from UT that comes out and checks out a lot of our guys. We have, uh, when we played our division championship game, actually, there was two NFL players that was sitting in their vehicle. They said, hey, you know, this is about you. We don't want to draw any extra distractions or anything like that. They wanted to let, they come out and watched <laughs> us play. And they said, guys, y'all have a really great team. Y'all have a lot of talent. Just keep working. These guys are going to be ready in the next year to be up there with us. That is so, so exciting. That so if football really is good. your dream, I mean, yeah. if football is your yeah. dream, here is a chance for you to make that dream come true. Yeah. So by all means, and, you know, um, besides the Ravens, as he mentioned, there are other teams if, if you're is. down in South mm -hmm. Carolina or Georgia or what have or you. Pretty much wherever you live in the pretty southeast, much in for the sure. Yeah. And um, beyond that, but uh, yeah. Or yeah. my recommendation is move to this area and join the Ravens. That's right. So. <laughs> there you go. Yes. We're always looking for new family members. <laughs> well, guys, I, I can't thank you enough for yes. bringing us up to date on this stuff and for introducing it to our viewers. I mean... Yes. How fantastic. And, and we look forward to, to watching you guys yeah. progress and continue. And we'll have you back in not too distant future and find out what's going on and what, what other changes you've made and what have awesome. you. So. Awesome. Well, we look forward to coming back and we're glad y'all had us on here. Oh, well, well we I really bet. appreciate this was, this you. This was being a lot here. of fun. It, it, <clears throat> it is. And, and again, you know, it, it's just wonderful to be able to showcase some opportunities for young people because that's. 
always very important to Santa and I is to, you know, uh, what's going on for young people. So, yeah. And how to develop yourselves further. Exactly. So, I mean, exactly. because yeah. there's lots of opportunities if you look for them. Mm -hmm. And that's the key. Never stop looking for opportunities because they will present themselves to you. So, okay. Well, we're just about out of time. I yeah. Can't, well, you know, it goes so by, so it goes so fast. It does. <laughs> I get tongue tied, at, you know. I, I know. I boy. know. And of course, as always, you know, you want to make sure that you uh, tune in to Mountain Fun Life. There's uh, all kinds of information out there, and and yeah, tomorrow. I, sco I think we scooped Rich Haley on yeah, this one. Yeah, we but did. I'll bet you he won't yeah. let us get away with that a second time. <laughs> Probably <so>. not. <laughs> Probably not. And of course, Rich is on Friday, and yep. then uh, tomorrow is. Uh, uh, Jim Johnson and, and James, James Gilly. Gilly with entertainment. And, and no beard. And Did no. you see that? No. James shaved off his beard. He looks like he's 12. <laughs> no, I, when you see this little kid tomorrow, no, that's actually James Gilly, folks. So, you no, know, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't treat that. him in on a younger model. <laughs> he just shaved his beard. So, you know, just imagine what I could do if I uh, saved mine. Well, my no, God, I'd, look, go I'd look 30 again. We don't want to do that. I don't want to do no, that, though. Wanna, <laughs> no, <laughs> Nobody no. would recognize me. <laughs> but anyway, but thank you for joining thank us Thank you for again. joining us. We really appreciate uh, you being here with us and the opportunity to be with you. And have a wonderful week and be kind to one another. Yes, please. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>